What is up guys, Jarv here back today jumping into Destiny. We are back with another This Week in Destiny, giving you the full breakdown for the up and coming week. This week sees episode 2 of the Into the Light reveal. This week we get our eyes on the new Brave Weapons. As well as that we get our first look at a new social space. On top of all those new reveals we have a full breakdown of all the weekly rituals, the up and coming challenges, the featured loot, bonus ranks and so much more. So be sure to stick around and enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the video be sure to leave a comment and rating down below and remember to subscribe for more Destiny 2 content. But without further delay guys, let's jump into the video. Another week and another this week in Destiny. This week marks week 18 of Season of the Wish. And after last week's reveal of the Into the Light update, this week we'll see update 2, which focuses on brave weapons being added to the game, as well as a new social space with additional rewards and Destiny 2 Year 1 inspired armor and more. The first stream was all about Onslaught and the new mode coming as part of this update. Now, if you tuned in last week, you would have been earning your progress towards the Those Held Dear emblem. Now, sadly, the requirements to earn this emblem didn't match those in the initial communication. That being said, though, if you tune in this week at 10 a.m. Pacific time on Tuesday, the 26th of March, you'll continue to earn progress and finally get your hands on this incredible emblem. You'll also be earning progress towards the Echo Diamond emblem, which you'll earn by watching a total of two hours worth of live streams. So if you want to find out more about the up and coming Into the Light update, as well as the all important rewards, then make sure to tune in this week and we'll be covering it right here on the channel to keep your peepers peeled and we'll do our best to keep you up to date. Now next up, we're going to move on to the featured challenge for the Crota's End Raid. This takes place over at the Crota Encounter and is called All for One. And to get this challenge done, Crota's Overshield must be destroyed within three seconds. Now, thankfully, most fire teams use this strategy by having multiple swords to take out the shield all in one go. So as long as your team do that, then you'll easily complete this week's featured challenge and gain access to an additional chest and an all important bonus raid loot. Now, speaking of raids, we do have new featured raid and dungeon content for the week. This week's featured raid is the Vault of Glass, the OG raid all the way back from Destiny 1. Now it's a great opportunity to earn time loss weapons as all the challenges are available. So if you are still chasing down a god roll on the Fatebringer, then this week would be the week to do it. And further still, if you don't have the Vex Mythoclast, the exclusive exotic fusion rifle only available from this raid, then you can even farm Atheon the final boss to get your hands on this incredible reward. Now, as for the featured dungeon, Shattered Throne Returns. Now, if you partook in Guardian Games, you probably spent a lot of time taking out Dull in Karu for some easy platinum medals. This week, we'll see more of the same, except instead of platinum medals, you'll be earning sunset items. Super exciting and totally unrewarding and a perfect example of why Shattered Throne needs a massive update. What changes would you like to see? Be sure to sound off down in the comments below. Now next up we're going to move on to the featured exotic mission from the exotic mission rotator. This week's mission is the Vox Obscura which launched all the way back in the Witch Queen. So you will need to either own that expansion or Season of the Risen in order to access it. Now this mission is the home to the Dead Messenger, the exotic grenade launcher. Now this weapon is craftable and even had a new trait added to the perk pool when it was added to the featured list. Now on top of that though you can also earn weapons and armor from Season of the Risen 2. That includes the explosive personality, recurrent impact, under your skin, sweet sorrow, thoughtless, as well as the peace of mind. And if you're chasing down armor you can even pick up the Tusked Allegiance armor set. Now these weapons do drop as Deep Sight Resonance versions and these can drop during the course of the activity or upon activity completion. So if you're still chasing weapon patterns or still unlocking additional traits for your dead messenger, then be sure to jump into the Vox Obscura upon this week's weekly reset. Now from here, we're going to move on to Dares of Eternity in the 30th Anniversary Pack activity. Alongside the Scatterhorn armor set from Forsaken, we see the return of the Wild Hunt armor set. As always, with Season of the Hunt armor, we do have Season of the Hunt weapons too, including Arsenic Bite, Blast B2, Corsair's Wrath, The Deafening Whisper, Dire Promise, Enigma's Draw, Escape Velocity, The GN7 Rifle, Royal Chase, True Prophecy, Friction Fire, 
and the timeline's vertex. Now, none of those weapons are in fact craftable. So if you are chasing down God rolls, then you'll need to farm for them. And these can drop during the course of the activity upon completion or by handing in strange coins over at the Star Horse over in the Treasure Horde. Now, next up, we're going to move on to the weekly rituals and we have a returning Nightfall and Grandmaster Nightfall for week 18. This comes in the form of the heist of Battleground over on the moon. Now, this is one of the trickier Nightfalls in this season's rotation. And previously, the Braytek Osprey was available as a Nightfall exclusive reward. Now, with the additions of Nightfall exclusive weapons to the loot pool, we now in fact have eight rewards over the course of six Nightfalls. So with that being said, we could see a change to this week's weapon, as we also still have two unreleased weapons, which are likely to launch as part of the Into the Light update. That being said though, what Nightfall exclusive reward would you prefer to chase this week? Be sure to let me know down in the comments below. Now moving over to the Crucible with the conclusion of Guardian Games, Supremacy goes back on hiatus and we see the return of Mayhem alongside Clash as featured Crucible Rotators. So if you fancy something a bit more chill after grinding out medals and medallions for your class, then this week would be the week to do it. Alongside the return of Trials upon Friday's daily reset, you'll be granted bonus Trials ranks. It's another opportunity to earn some awesome Trials of Osiris loot. So if you're still filling out that Trials of Osiris collection, then be sure to jump into the event this week and take advantage of all those extra bonus ranks. Now to round us out for the week, we're going to look at the Lost Sector calendar for week 18. This week kicks off over in the Sky Dock, which will be offering exotic gauntlets. On Wednesday, you can head over to the Quarry, and this has a chance for exotic chess pieces. On Thursday, you can head back to the Dreaming City and Aphelion's Rest for a chance for exotic helmets. On Friday, with the return of Trials, you can choose to head over to the Bay of Drowned Wishes instead for a chance at those exotic boots. On Saturday, you can head back to the Chamber of Starlight for another chance at exotic gauntlets. And then you can round out the weekend over in Perdition on Europa for another shot of those exotic chess pieces. And to round us out for this week, you can head back to the Bunker E15 on Monday and this will be offering up exotic helmets. So as always, if you're still filling out your exotic collection, then be sure to plan your week accordingly. And if your collections are full already, then these can also drop world drop weapons, which are not craftable. So once again, if there's a weapon that you're looking to chase, be sure to check this calendar out. And you can do so over in Today in Destiny. And I'll leave the full link to that down in the video description below. So there we have it guys, a good look on everything that you can expect for week 18 of Season of the Wish. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to check out one of the two videos you see here in these cards for more Destiny 2 content. And if you want to keep up to date with everything to do with Destiny 2, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to the game as always guys, and I will catch you all again very soon.